The names for chemical elements in East Asian languages, along with those for some chemical compounds mostly organic, are among the newest words to enter the local vocabularies. Except for those metals well known since antiquity, most elements had their names created after modern chemistry was introduced to East Asia in the 18th and 19th century, with more translations being coined for those elements discovered later. While most East Asian languages use or have used the Chinese script, only the Chinese language uses the characters as the predominant way of naming elements. On the other hand, the Japanese and Koreans primarily employ native writing systems for the names of the elements, such as katakana and hangul. Chinese In Chinese, characters for the elements are the last officially created and recognized characters in the Chinese writing system. Unlike characters for unofficial varieties of Chinese e.g., written Cantonese or other now defunct ad hoc characters e.g., those by the Empress Wu, the names for the elements are official, consistent, and taught with Mandarin pronunciation to every Chinese and Taiwanese student who has attended public schools usually by the first year of middle school. New names and symbols are decided upon by the China National Committee for Terms in Sciences and Technologies. Native characters some metallic elements were already familiar to the Chinese, as their ores were already excavated and used extensively in China for construction, alchemy, and medicine. These include the long-established group of five metals Wu Jin gold, Jin silver, Yin Yin copper, Tong Tong iron, Tai Tai and Tin Shi Shi as well as lead, Qian Qian and mercury some non-metals were already named in Chinese as well, because their minerals were in widespread use. For example, boron peng is part of borax, carbon tan in the form of charcoal, sulfur lu had been used to make gunpowder since at least the 10th century in China. Characters based on European pronunciations However, the Chinese did not know about most of the elements until they were isolated during the Industrial Age. These new elements therefore required new characters, which were invented using the phono-semantic principle. Each character consists of two parts, one to signify the meaning and the other to hint at the sound. The semantic meaning part is also the radical of the character. It refers to the element's usual state at room temperature and standard pressure. There are only four radicals used for elements, jin jin jin, gold, metal. For solid metals, shi shi, stone, rock. For solid non-metals, shui shui shui, water. For liquids, and qi qi, air, steam. For gases. The phonetic sound part represents the character's pronunciation and is a partial transliteration of the element. For each element character, this is a unique phonetic component. Since 118 elements have been discovered, there are over 100 different phonetic components used in naming the elements. Current practice dictates that new names should avoid being homophonous with previous element names, or with organic functional groups. However, this rule was not rigorously followed in the past, and confusingly, tin she and selenium she have names that are both pronounced she. To avoid further confusion, PRC authorities avoided using the name Shi Shi for silicon. Ne Ne is primarily pronounced as Ne, but has less commonly as Na, the source of Na. Likewise, the primary pronunciation of D is D, but the alternate reading of T gave rise to T. Asterisk the derived pronunciation differs in tone or in sound from the pronunciation of the element. The water. Radical shui is rarely used, since only two elements bromine and mercury are truly liquid at standard room temperature and pressure. Both of their characters are not based on the European pronunciation of the elements' names. Bromine, shu the only liquid nonmetal at room temperature, is explained in the following section. Mercury, gong now grouped with the heavy metals, was long classified as a kind of fluid in ancient China. Meaning-based characters a few characters, though, are not created using the above phono semantic design, but are semantic semantic. That is, both of its parts indicate meanings. 
One part refers to the element's usual state like the semantophonetic characters, while the other part indicates some additional property or function of the element. In addition, the second part also indicates the pronunciation of the element. Such elements are Recently discovered elements In 2015, IUPAC recognized the discovery of four new elements. In November 2016, IUPAC published their formal names and symbols: Nihonium 113NH, Moscovium 115MC, Tenesine 117 and Oganesson 118OG. Subsequently, in January 2017, the China National Committee for Terms in Sciences and Technologies published four naming characters for these elements. The National Academy for Educational Research under the Ministry of Education of the Republic of China on Taiwan published an identical list in April 2017. For traditional Chinese, Nihonium and Moscovium are existing characters, while in simplified Chinese, only Moscovium exists in the Unicode standard. The missing characters were added to Unicode version 11.0 as urgently needed characters in June 2018. The Chinese characters for these symbols are Nihonium, traditional, U plus 9268 Shi simplified, U plus 9 Fed Ni Moscovium, traditional, U plus 93CC Mo simplified, U plus 9546 Mo Tenesine, both traditional and simplified, U plus 9 FECTN Oganesson, both traditional and simplified, U plus 9 Feb ao HTML ao ao In the periodic table. Notes A minority of the new characters are not completely new inventions, as they coincide with archaic characters, whose original meanings have long been lost to most people. For example, pu protactinium, pi beryllium, luochromium, and lan lanthanum are obscure characters meaning raw iron, needle, hook, and harrow, respectively. The majority of the elements' names are the same in simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese, merely being variants of each other, since most of the names were translated by a single body of standardization before the PRC rock split. However, since francium and the transuranium elements were discovered during or after the split, they have different names in Taiwan and in mainland China. In Hong Kong, both Taiwanese and mainland Chinese names are used. The isotopes of hydrogen, protium (1H), deuterium (D), and tritium (T) are written pi pi, dao dao, and chuan chuan, respectively, in both simplified and traditional writing. I is used in Taiwan for both Einsteinium mainland China, I and Ionium, a previous name for the isotope thorium-230. Japanese Like other words in the language, elements names in Japanese can be native, from China Sino-Japanese or from Europe Garego". Names based on European pronunciations even though the Japanese language also uses Chinese characters kanji, it primarily employs katakana to transliterate names of the elements from European languages often German, Dutch or Latin via German or English. For example, Native names On the other hand, elements known since antiquity are Chinese loanwords, which are mostly identical to their Chinese counterparts, albeit in the Shinjitai, for example, iron G is Tetsu Tang Dynasty loan and lead Qian is Namari native reading. While all elements in Chinese are single character in the official system, some Japanese elements have two characters. Often this parallels colloquial or everyday names for such elements in Chinese, such as Shui Yin, Shui Yin Pinyin, Shuian for mercury and Lu Huang, Lu Huang Pinyin, Luang for sulfur. A special case is Tin, Shi Suzu, which is more often written in katakana. Meaning based names Some names were later invented to describe properties or characteristics of the element. They were mostly introduced around the 18th century to Japan, and they sometimes differ drastically from their Chinese counterparts. 
The following comparison shows that Japanese does not use the radical system for naming elements like Chinese. Korean As the hanja Sino-Korean characters are now rarely used in Korea, all of the elements are written in Hangul. Since many Korean scientific terms were translated from Japanese sources, the pattern of naming is mostly similar to that of Japanese. Namely, the classical elements are loanwords from China, with new elements from European languages. But recently, some elements' names were changed. For example, pre-modern elements often are the Korean pronunciation of their Japanese equivalents, e.g. See also Discoveries of the chemical elements Organic nomenclature in Chinese References Wright, David Translating Science – The Transmission of Western Chemistry into Late Imperial China, 1840–1900. Leiden, Boston, Brill. See especially Chapter 7. On Translation External links Periodic tables Interactive table in traditional Chinese Interactive table in simplified Chinese Interactive table in Japanese Interactive table in Korean English-Chinese periodic table of elements Articles the Chinese Periodic Table, a Rosetta Stone for understanding the language of chemistry in the context of the introduction of modern chemistry into China A New Inquiry into the Translation of Chemical Terms by John Fryer and Xu Shou Chinese Terms for Chemical Elements <laughs>